Hey Gearheads, it's Jeff with a review of the Extreme Mist Personal Cooling System. Hey y'all, this is Armentia with That Guy's Wife Media and you're watching Gear Report. I'm a bit surprised that no one else has brought this cool idea to market. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting the bad pun out of the way early. In case you missed it, the pun is because this product is designed to cool you off via evaporation. You might recall from science class that when a liquid transitions to a gaseous state, it absorbs a bit of ambient heat. We can use this to our advantage by spraying a super fine mist of water that's primed for evaporation onto our clothing and exposed skin. As the water evaporates, it literally sucks the heat from your skin, cooling you off. This is why you often see fans spraying mist on players on the sidelines of NFL games when it's hot or find misting stations in theme parks to help keep guests cool while they wait in lines. Somehow, it seems no one ever thought to make a portable misting system to help people stay cool while on the move, like when running or hiking. That's where Extreme Mist comes in. They sent their personal cooling system backpack, shower head, and quad nozzle kit for review. I'm excited because this combination gives a wide range of options for use. For this video, I'll show you the basic PCS backpack kit with a single misting nozzle. As it warms up, I'll follow up with another video showing the shower head and quad nozzle kit in use. In initial testing, I found that the entire system works exactly as described. It appears to be very well thought out. Charge the battery pack, fill the water bladder, and you're ready to either drink from the water bladder or cool yourself off with a cool mist from the misting nozzle. Let's look at the various components of the PCS system. The heart of the system is the battery-powered portable water pump with wireless remote control. The self-priming pump runs fairly quietly and is powered by a 6600 milliamp hour USB rechargeable battery pack. It accepts a fast charge at 5 volts and 3 amps, but also has a standard USB out port that supplies 5 volts at 2 amps to charge other devices. I'm a bit concerned that the pump assembly is not waterproof, but so far that's not been an issue. The blue tubing for the misting system seems durable enough and is connected with quick connect fittings. The only fitting that I've seen leak a few drops during use is at the misting nozzle. The drips stop when I turn the fitting a bit. I'll be interested to see how durable the fittings prove to be over time. The two liter water bladder lives in an insulated sleeve in case you prefer to fill it with chilled water. The backpack looks like a standard hydration pack at first glance. Look closer and you'll see it's really set up for runners with wide breathable mesh shoulder straps that hook together in such a way that they almost look like a vest. That gives room for a few pockets for different electrolyte drinks, your phone, ID, etc. The chest strap has a safety whistle built in and the drinking tube has magnetic bit to fasten it to the vest so it won't bounce around while running. The little pouches to hold the wireless remote for the pump are a bit snug and tricky to use. On the back, there are two big compartments. One has the water bladder in it, but still has room for a jacket. The other has a pump assembly and some room for other small items. Using the personal cooling system was pretty easy. Step one is to charge the USB battery pack. I plugged it into one of the micro USB charging cables I keep by my cameras. The five volt two amp charger worked fairly quickly to top off the battery so that I was starting the test with a full charge. I later realized that Extreme Mist had stashed a faster charger in one of the pockets of the backpack. Step two, was to fill the water bladder with fresh water. This is where I ran into my only issue so far in testing. Opening the bladder was simple. Unzip the main compartment of the backpack. There's a black sleeve inside. Unzip the top of the black sleeve to reveal the water bladder. There are two levers that hold the halves of the water bladder mouth closed. Rotate those levers 90 degrees to release the clamps and open the bladder mouth. Easy. After filling the bladder, I had trouble getting the two hard plastic halves to fully seat against each other and promptly proceeded to break the little tabs that hold the mouth of the bladder closed. I'm not sure what to say here. I've got another bladder with a similar closure system and have used it for a few years without incident. I must have done something wrong, but I'll go on record right now as suggesting that Extreme Mist looks for a different type of water bladder closure. This one is too unforgiving and brittle.
So this test was a flop before it even got started, right? Nope. Even with only one of the four tabs still in place and holding the bladder shut, it still seals and has not leaked. But you've been warned, please make sure you have the two black plastic halves of the bladder perfectly aligned That's before trying to rotate setting. the levers into Up the lock one. position. Another. Three. Four. Five. And that is your top setting. Step three, unsheath the remote and fire up the pump. It was as simple as it sounds. The wireless remote control is clipped to a little loop on the front of the backpack and tucked in a little pouch. Just slide the remote out of the sleeve and slide the protective cover back to expose the four buttons. They are start, stop, faster, and slower. When you first start the pump, it will be at medium speed. It may take a few seconds for a dry pump to prime and start squirting water out of the misting tube. Priming the pump is easier if you loosen one of the spray nozzles so that pressure can't build up in the tube. Once water starts flowing out the loosened fitting, you know the pump's been primed and you can tighten it. At that point, you should have a fine mist of water spraying out the nozzle. Step four, turn off the pump. When you're done with the mist, you simply press the stop button on the remote and the pump will quickly stop running. It may take another couple of seconds for the pressure to bleed off the misting hose. As much as I prefer summer over winter, I have to admit that sometimes it's nice to be able to cool off on a hot day. The Extreme Mist Personal Cooling System is a rather ingenious and flexible bit of gear that can help you cool off while on the go. Please check back later to see how the quad nozzle system works to cool a fixed location. I expect that we will use this on the dock at the lake and maybe even in the Battle Wagon 2.0 this summer. Let us know what questions you have in the comments below and please subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming outdoor gear reviews. We'll see you on the trail. Thank you.